Good day, I'm Vasily and today we are going to talk about top 9 famous movie locations in the Dominican Republic. The Dominican Republic is not only famous because of the white sand beaches, uh, climate, tropics and uh, amazing local culture. It's also famous because of the movie studios and some great movies like Godfather, Fast and Furious, Rambo and many, many others. Location of the movie The Godfather 2. It was filmed in the Zona Colonial. You know, uh, in 1973, uh, Francis Ford Coppola faced the challenge. It was a Cold War, so it wasn't you know, it wasn't possible to go to Cuba and film everything. So they decided to film everything in the Dominican Republic and it was a huge success. They filmed a lot of scenes in Zona Colonial, uh, Hotel Embajador in Santo Domingo. So I believe this is one of the greatest movies ever. If you never watched The Godfather, you definitely should do it. I love this movie and it's very famous and we love to, to hear some quotes from the movie. So I strongly recommend you to watch this movie, but now you can visit some specific scenes from this particular movie in the Dominican Republic. My father taught me many things here. He taught me in this room. He taught me, keep your friends close. But your enemies close. Location of the movie Jurassic Park. So, Amber Museum, Puerto Plata. So, in a town of the northern courts in the Dominican Republic. Do you remember dinosaurs from Jurassic Park of Steven Spielberg? Their DNA was obtained from the remains of ancient insects in Amber. That's the specific Amber and specific Amber place. To get to this museum from Santo Domingo, it's about three, three and a half hours. So if you're driving from Punta Cana, it's around five hours. So you basically need to cross uh, the country from East Coast to the North Coast. So it's far away, but it's definitely worth it. At Puerto Plata has a lot of different attractions, including the mountain and amazing views and my favorite excursion 27 Charcos, 27 waterfalls. I strongly recommend you to see and to book this excursion. By the way, you can see the video at our channel. Just click the link and you will see the 27 waterfalls, 27 Charcos excursion at our YouTube channel. Location of the movie Fast and Furious 4 and 7. So it was made in the Dominican Republic in uh, amazing place it's called Monte Cristi it has great mountains yellow sands amazing roads so and spectacular views that's why they were using this area to make a movie to include this in the movie Fast and Furious series 4 and series 7 location of the movie Man vs Wild uh, wild jungle in Haragua National Park so yes a lot of movies are filmed in National Park uh, in the Dominican Republic. Location of the movie, The Feast of the Goat, La Tiesta del Chivo. It was a historical insight in Santo Domingo. So it was filmed there in colonial, uh, in colonial city, Zona Colonial. The story about dictator Rafael Trujillo was included in this movie. So about the Dominican leader and the, uh, the movie shows the environment how it was back then, Epoca de Trujillo, uh, so the, the time of the Trujillo. So definitely there are a lot of scenes with Zona Colonial in touristic areas. Location of the movie Apocalypse Now. So Francis Coppola successfully made The Godfather and he uh, implied, you know, like substitute Cuba with the Dominican Republic. So they decided to do the same uh, with jungles in Vietnam. So something similar we have in the Dominican Republic. So it was a great success 
and of course the production costs are lower and it's better and has more organization and comfort so that was a huge success and it was a smart thing to do so that's one of the uh, very specific movie uh, very nice movie and famous apocalypse now that uh, uh, shows you know like amazing views along the Chavon River in La Romana famous Altas de Chavon it was around Chavon River around location of the movie Sorcerer Basilica Alla Alta Gracia in the eastern region of the country known as the most popular touristic destination in the Dominican Republic William Fredkin shoot his movie Sorcerer a story about different people who were forced to traffic dynamite on trucks through a jungle due to difficult life circumstances. Franklin opted for the Dominican jungle and even constructed there a bridge that cost $1 million. Later, he had to disassemble uh, since the power of the local rain was not enough for the necessary scene. Nevertheless, Sorcerer is not only one of the most not appreciated th thrillers in the 1970s, location of the movie uh, XXX, Return of a Sander Cage, um, Wales in Samana. Well, Samana is picturesque place. You definitely should go there and visit Samana. And it's a great idea to make a movie in Peninsula of Samana. So during the whale season, it can uh, whales can visit like 1,500 or up to 2,000 whales can visit the bay. So you can, if you're going in March or February to Samana Peninsula, you can see whales. Location of the movie Miami Vice was made in Malecon Embarkment in Santo Domingo. Surprisingly, they used some Haitian old houses similar uh, with uh, something similar in Florida by the time. So it was made in Santo Domingo. Some other interesting facts about the Dominican Republic. The Caribbean country features not only sunny beaches but also snowy mountain peaks yes so the highest peak in the caribbean located in pico duarte i had this experience and it's worth going if you love hiking so if you try it on the heat and the beach you can go to pico duarte and on expedition to a peak so it's a challenge for your spirit and for your body. I strongly recommend you to do this. The Dominican Republic is one of the wedding, the leading wedding destinations in the Caribbean. We have so many places for weddings and people are making a lot of weddings photo shoots in the Dominican Republic. So I guess it's right now is number one destination for weddings. The Dominican Republic is very hospitable. So you can go and visit the country. During the excursions, uh, local people will show you how they produce the cacao, coffee, how is everything, uh, how is the, the living uh, inside their villages. So they show you the, your, their culture and their living experience. So it's very attractive and very nice. And you can try and experience local cuisine. Try some culture. Typical Dominican food are rice and beans, chicken. Yeah, so, and the, we have here famous uh, Dominican breakfast that is like mango, that mashed platanos, salami, uh, maybe queso frito, fried cheese. So you should give it a try. And don't forget to try tostones. But be careful if your stomach mm, uh, is not used for tostones, try a bit. They are delicious, but they can tap everything inside, so be careful, try a bit. One of the widely used means of the transportation in the Dominican Republic is motorcycles, or motorcycles. So, motorbike. Uh, there is even more taxi called motoconcho. You're probably aware about motoconcho. I beg you, do not use any kind of motoconchos because it's extremely dangerous. First of all, you ride in a, a bike with somebody who doesn't care about any kind of rules so they don't care care they don't care how they are driving how fast they are going and they are trying to do this as fast as they can and you don't have like even a helmet as basic protection so definitely it's not safe please do not rent 
any scooters or motorcycles. It's not safe. And even if you decided to rent a car, please rent a car with full insurance and make sure that you drive safe. Avoid driving during the night. It's extremely dangerous because of the motorcycles, <laughs> because they are driving without lights and anything. So you can just hit a motorbike and have a lot and I meet a lot of problems after that. Please stay safe and enjoy your vacation. Popular Dominican music are dances, merengue, salsa and bachata. So can be enjoyed right in the street, any calmado, so in the hotels, bars, nightclubs, people are dancing everywhere. I love local culture for this, because they can dance in Colmado, on the street, anywhere. Make you sure you find time to feel the vibes of the passionate Dominican bachata or merengue and learn some basic moves. To sum everything up, feel free to ask us questions. Please make a comment below this video. We really appreciate any kind of comments, suggestions, or some facts, some ideas. Please share your thoughts in comments. In addition to it, you can always ask our consultants and our website, everythingpuntacana.com, and you can rent a lovely villa with maid, and we can arrange a chef for your amazing and private stay at the villa so you can have everything in plate. We can organize excursions, transportations, helicopter rides, private yachts, whatever you need, whatever makes you happy. So we want to make sure we deliver the best to our guests. In addition to it, our representatives will organize your calendar. So let's say we'll help you to develop your schedule. So you just need to go to the Dominican Republic. Welcome to Punta Cana. Welcome to the Dominican Republic. I hope to see you soon in Punta Cana. Welcome guys. See you soon here in Punta Cana.